All right, y'all, in this video, I'm gonna be giving y'all an update on my V8 engine that I'm currently working on. And I'm gonna start off with the crankshaft right here. I had to make, I had to cut out 160 circles just for these eight circles right here. These are the tops for my pistons. These are my pistons, I had to make eight pistons. These circles right here, they're 20 thick. That's 80 more circles I had to cut out. And these are for my um my valve rods. And these are gonna be on the side of these. So it's gonna be like this. It's my crankshaft. And then uh this is gonna be like on the side of it, like right here. And I'm going to have like four set up like this. So this going to have two pistons and two rods. And they're going to be like sharing the same little thing. So, yeah, that's like 200 plus circles I had to cut out. These are my connecting rods. I'm not done gluing them yet, but these are I only got three folded right now. Still got five more to fold before I start gluing. The tops for my pistons are right here. I had to cut out eight circles. And these are my valve. These are my valve rods right there. And on this sheet of paper, this is how I plan on having everything set up. So it's going to be a a um, air valve in between every cylinder. Usually when I did this, I can only like do like two cylinders just so this one can be like this and the other one can be on the other side of this one and nothing on the middle. But I had to redesign it. And that was the hardest part about making or starting this engine. I just had to figure out how I was gonna do that part right there without having to make gears so, yep. So, usually, this is how I would do it. And nothing to be in the middle. But now, it's going to probably be like this. This might be the little gap. And then, it'll be one of these in the middle. Like, right there. This won't be on this cylinder. It'll be... Well, this will be right here. It'll be another cylinder right there. But this gap right here, nah, this going to be flat on the on the cylinder it's just gonna be moved up just a little bit let me show y'all so instead of it being like a t shape it's like a, a l shape now so yeah that's my update i'm gonna start start a new series on this just giving y'all update by update yeah, it's gonna take some time though, I ain't gonna lie.